What's up guys, today I'm going to be doing a review of the Mega Bass S-Crank 1.5 uh, square bill crankbait. So here it is, really cool colors. Um, it's kind of like a bluish purple down the side if you can see that there um, right along here. And then uh, greenish on the uh, right above that. And then a really dark green on the top. And then it goes to uh, orange and then a uh, white. So, looks really good. It's really big for a 1.5 uh, crankbait. It's kind of like a, here, I'll grab a striking uh, 2.5. So, it's similar to a striking 2.5, if you can see there. About the same size. Right there. So, I'll throw that one back aside. Um, and then, here, I'll grab a normal, a striking, uh, well, I'll get two there, but. That's a striking 1.5 versus the Mega Bass 1.5. So you can see that there. The Mega Bass is a bit bigger than normal 1.5s. Um, but what's supposed to be really special um, about this lure, the nose, I don't know if you can, how well you can see that there, it goes to a point instead of being rounded off like at normal crankbaits. Once again, I'll grab a... So you can see the strikings, they don't go to like a point as much. This one goes to a point. So that's supposed to deflect water off of it, deflect the water, and then uh, give it a more erratic action so it goes more side to side, side to side. And that's why it's called the uh, S-crank because it makes like an S. So it still does the wobbling side to side, but then it goes like off on the off to the sides as it's going so uh, we can go test that out quick and then you can see how it works okay here we are in my backyard um, here is the uh, it's the Boyd Ducket uh, hollow body square bill crankbait made out of the uh, material that they use for the hollow body frog so if you haven't checked out my review of that video that should be the video before this one on my channel so check that out it's a great lure, but here we are with the Mega Bass S crank. So we're gonna cast it out a little ways. It's really shallow, so it's hard to see it really well in here right now. Um, one second. It's a little deeper right here. So as you can see, it's got a. Right now, I can't really get it to have the full effect of the really erratic action. Um, but trust me, it has. I've used it in other ponds and stuff but just bouncing off of uh different things it goes in tons of different uh places oh got a leaf on it um so here i'll cast it down here a little bit and you can uh start to see it right in the middle of the screen has a great action can't wait to use this for uh bass fishing this spring into summer fall great action highly recommend it it's a bit pricey at about 20 bucks but it's a great great lure so stay tuned for more episodes